My name is Christina Uncle, and I am an attorney at Malio Christopher and Toll, located here in Sarasota, Florida. I have been an attorney for about three years. I graduated from Stetson College of Law in St. Petersburg, Florida, and I practice commercial litigation, complex litigation, and sports arts and entertainment law. And in addition to my uh, law practice, I am also an international FIFA referee. I am honored to be selected as one of the three women in the United States um, by the U.S. Soccer Federation to represent uh, U.S. soccer on the international level. So, for example, the FIFA World Cups, um, as well as potential Olympics um, and other international tournaments. Uh, I have the honor of representing our country as being selected to officiate in those uh, tournaments. So refereeing does take a lot of time out of um, obviously the average day, but it has contributed a lot in allowing me to kind of have that mental stress relief um, from the everyday problems or issues um, to allow me to take that kind of break, focus on something else I truly enjoy in my life, and then being able to refocus back uh, with practicing the law. So it allows me to take those necessary breaks, um, once again refresh you know, my perspective, and approach each um, time with you know, re uh, renewed enthusiasm. I've been refereeing for about 17 years at this point, um, and through it all, you know, obviously you gain experience into the um, particular area that where you know you're refereeing at, and the same thing transcends into the law. But being able to take a break and take a quick second, um, obviously in refereeing you only have a split or a second or two, but also the same thing with uh, law, be able to take back, step back from the situation, and really see the situation for what it is, um, and be able to take a quick analysis of the situation, be able to calm everyone down and advise them um, appropriately. So those skills from the refereeing have transcended into the legal practice by allowing me to step back from these situations that may be fueled very much by people's emotions and passions and being able to take a very black and white approach to it. Having only practiced for three years, I've actually had some very good exposure to you know, a mid-large firm um, a practice as well as to a very high uh, what one would consider is a bigger law practice as well as to the current practice that I have and the biggest thing for me um, in finding the uh, law firm that I wanted to practice at or at least how I go about practicing the law was really dependent upon what it is that I saw was very valuable to me in life. Um, not in a selfish way but in a way of how is it that I can give back to a firm 100% but also what I'm looking back from a firm in a relationship kind of an aspect. So it's a relationship that needs to be formed and it's one of those things that I truly knew who I was myself and what it is that would make me happy and be able to actually perform to the level that's expected or required from not just the firm but the clients. So for me it was a journey to find the uh, right fit, um, and, but the thing is I never really limited myself. I always you know, looked for those things that would allow me to have that overall work-life balance when it comes to balancing the passions in my life that I've been pursuing for 17 years with the refereeing as well as balancing my career passion as well as balancing when it comes down to family and friends and other extracurricular um, activities that I do so finding this place um, and you know being able to practice here at Malio Christopher and Toll it was a blessing for me because I really stuck to what I considered were very high values in my life and I made sure that I didn't go down that traditional path of it doesn't exist and um, thankfully by me being very strong in that and being very clear and definitive as to you know the goals and the objectives in my life and being very clear um, it has allowed the firm to also be reciprocal back so we're able to find a relationship where some places are a one-size-fits-all kind of a place um, and this thankfully is one of those uh, you know law firms as well as I'm kind of one of those people that you know it was just a good relationship to have. My advice for any young attorneys that are coming out um, or, or in my position, you know, having practiced less than five years, is that don't get stuck in what has been already predefined as success in our, uh, you know, our area, in our career. And success for one person isn't the same as for another person, specifically if you have different things in your life that you know you truly hold and you value higher than others. So although there's that traditional route of you know going to the big law firm and you know making the six figures and you know billing the high hours, that's not for everyone. And uh, we hear of many people who graduate from law school and even have passed the bar but still practice in the business sec sector, right, with their Juris Doctor degree. So I think the biggest thing for new graduates as well as, you know, young attorneys and even those attorneys who may be considering a different life change or maybe, you know, questioning, you know, the path that they took is 
Define what success is for you. Don't be afraid, don't have that fear to make a decision that you think may not be you know, looked upon by others as the correct or the right decision because really the correct or the right decision is really based on who you are, what you want in life, and how you're able to you know, achieve all of that. So that would be my probably biggest advice.